Polarized Crafters. Uh, we're on Agria Valley. It's, um, yeah, yeah, it's a loser's bracket game. Uh, between here, this is actually uh, More Than Tom and Hidden Squid, I believe. Tidiest Chunk, I think, is Hidden Squid. And Plekra, I believe, is More Than Tom. You know, I don't really know. I don't know what's happening here. Anyway, uh, here we go. Um, it's Protoss in the bottom right. It's Agria Valley. Uh, so it's a pretty small map. And top left, we've got Tidious Chunk playing Terran. Uh, opening gas first. Bizarre. It's very early gas from both these players. Bit weird. No, uh, no workers in production from Plekra. And that is surely the road to disaster. Um, you know double depot opener here from tidiest chunk uh so you despite despite how guff this opening is from plecra uh this is a strong contender to be just as guff if not guffer it's double gas um into quadruple depot uh so you know this uh, it just smacks of i've uh never actually played starcraft haven't even bothered with the tutorial um yeah mm, yeah so uh it's hard to tell who's gonna win at this early stage isn't it uh so far i can only really identify plays that are losing plays uh under any sort of normal circumstances either of these bills would lose to just about anything um but luckily in this occasion each of the players seems to have chosen a build that uh, is, is actually going to allow their opponent to get away with something criminally bad. So, um, look, this isn't even in the right place. It's just might as well just build it anywhere. Just slap it down anywhere. Who cares? Um, there are some units out here and there is uh, an upgrade coming. It's plus one attack. Um, don't get plus one attack playing against the Terran. Get plus one armor, but you know, whatever. Um, there is a side corner, so there's some stalkers out. And if we look at the army supply, Plekra is currently ahead. However, with three racks on the other side of the map, it won't take Tidious Chunk long to catch up. Unfortunately though, Reapers are uh, just a waste of money and supply. So uh, Reapers against stalkers, uh, against anything really is pretty awkward to watch it. Um, Tidious Chunk gonna, gonna make sure they don't get supply blocked. Both players doing an excellent job of not being supply blocked um it's hard to really uh sort of compliment them on any other aspects of these builds to be honest um but here we are at eight minutes <laughs> and uh you know they they've built some units i suppose that's a thing um and uh, as i said they're not supply blocked very little scouting happening if i just uh, show you the vision from tidiest chunk here hasn't been in his opponent's best at all and likewise vision from plecra hasn't been in his opponent's best at all so neither of these players have the first clue uh, about what their opponent is actually doing uh, fortunately in both cases though their opponent is uh, playing like an absolute spanner um, so uh, this uh, is essentially just the stuff of starcraft nightmares isn't it um, this is the sort of uh, play that actual proper starcraft players just you know, makes them slightly want to wait so uh the protoss army here moving in uh to position a lot of it most of it actually not doing anything the zealots are at the back it's the worst possible positioning imaginable really uh finally the zealots actually you know get that last zealot just now is getting a, an actual blade on a terran unit and with the uh medevac above it and the Protoss army filing in, essentially in single file, into a wall of machine gun fire. Uh, that didn't pan out so well for Plekra. Luckily, this one stalker is shooting at a command center. So uh, that has very much um, done nothing. Uh, okay, so Tidious Chunk now does have a good opportunity to counterattack. Uh, with a substantially larger army unfortunately his apm is currently zero so literally nothing happening there um whatsoever as uh Thaddeus chunk decides uh i'll just before i attack i'll just go home and, and and fire off a quick shot at my own barracks um for reasons best known to himself uh that is going to allow plecker to get back into this game which is unfortunate because you know, really, Blackford does not deserve to win, uh, but neither does Tidiest Chunk. So, um, 
uh, we'll, we'll see how this is going to go. There's a Liberator in effect here, and that can certainly be an effective unit, but worryingly, the Dark Shrine is on its way, and there is no sign of any type of detection. So uh, it is just possible here that Plekra is just going to lose this army again. But Tidius Chunk again deciding, having beaten the opponent's army, uh, I was about to say to not uh, sort of try and press that advantage in any way. Um, now, if there are Dark Templars in production, there aren't, of course. There is a, a Dark Shrine which enables Dark Templars, but uh, Plekra deciding not to bother actually building any of those. Um, if you were to build those, they would simply win the game because uh, Tidius Chunk has no way of seeing them, no detection available, no orbital commands that offer scans, um, and so those cloaked units would, would simply win everything. Um, Tidius Chunk, I suppose, could EMP the cloaked units to reveal them, but I, I, it is my suspicion that he is unaware of that. So Void Rays queued up a huge, huge amount of minerals and gas in queues. Um, which is just nothing but a misery. Sentries aren't going to help you at this stage, uh, Plekra, not uh, really. Although arguably they could force feed the ramp and keep this stuff out of the base. But for how long, I wonder. Void Rays are going to go to work here and actually the Terran army can't, well, it can't see it. But above the shield battery, none of this stuff's going to die. So um, somehow Plekra's still in this game. Um, well, luckily, while all that was happening, neither player uh, really did much. Um, in the case of Tidius Chunk, uh, while all that was happening, they were building literally nothing. Uh, this Marauder having a pop at the barracks that was that took a shot earlier. So still nothing in the production tab apart from uh, was that combat shield? Was it actually? Yay! Finally, somebody actually got combat shield. Maybe they listened to me. Uh, maybe not. Um, yeah, so there are a good list of upgrades uh, from Tidius Chunk, but uh, Tidius Chunk's APM, I can only imagine right now, is zero and has been for some time. Um, uh, yeah, so not 100% sure uh, what that is about, um, but, you know, they weren't actually doing anything. They haven't built anything for a very long time. Um, I don't know why. Uh, deciding to rebuild the barracks to replace the one that they have themselves shot. Um, there's there's almost like, it's almost, you know, you could almost see a shortcut to that. Uh, simply don't shoot your own barracks in the first place and then have the barracks without having to rebuild it. Um, so yeah, maybe at this point, Tidius Chunk is in a different room or something, uh, but I can't help but feel that now that the Protoss army is gonna turn up, it is going to win. Um, because Tadius Chunk very kindly just uh, just left the keep, uh, FK for about five minutes there. Um, so this protest ar army is going to go uncontested, uh, and somehow uh, Plekra is, is going to win this game. Um, I have no idea how. Uh, but you know, as I say, uh, it was pretty clear from the start of the game that no actual StarCraft was going to be played. Uh, in this session whatsoever. Uh, there we go, 1-0, GG.